in my uh, other session that we did earlier today, I believe it's very important that we start out with some common definitions because different words mean different people, to, different things to different people. For example, I started out in manufacturing, and when we use the term OD in manufacturing, what might that be? Outside diameter, absolutely. And then later in my career, I went into going to facilities and helping them and working on the people side of the business, and they used OD, and it had nothing to do with outside diameter. It had to do with organizational development. So bottom line is we have to make sure that we have some clarity and definitions. So let me define a couple things for you. The first thing is what is communication? And I would continue with you, it's four simple things. It's both giving and receiving feedback. Because if you give it and no one receives it, it's just out there. It's noise. It has to be received and understood. Secondly, communications is multi-purpose. Sometimes you're trying to motivate. Sometimes you're trying to inform. Sometimes you're trying to change. So there are multiple reasons to communicate. The third is it's directional. In your organization, you have some communications that go up. You have some communications that go down levels and you have a lot of communication across different departments, divisions, and peers. And finally, communications involves choices. We can choose to listen, we can choose to participate, or we can simply sit there and check the box that we attended a meeting or a session. Believe me, I've been to a lot of meetings in my lifetime where there were a lot of people sitting in seats and not a lot of dialogue going on and there was not a lot of communication going on except one way. So the second thing is hearing. Uh, in fact, next week my wife has convinced me I need to go get this tested. Uh, <clears throat> can I perceive sounds and it's involuntary, it just happens, but there's a huge difference between hearing and listening. Listening requires more energy than talking. And probably the best little chart that I've found on it is hearing is accidental, involuntary, and effortless. If you just sit there, you're going to hear something. But listening revolves about focusing on what's said. It's about volunteering to really listen intently. They call that active listening. And it's intentional. You can tell when someone is truly listening to you. As a presenter, I can tell if you're paying attention or not. 